Now we got these, uh, the HubSpot cards. So this is working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is uh, the gym account. So the top right here, you see this little test card. So I want to show you how I built this thing. This so, so what I'm doing is I'm passing through the this information from the uh, this contact into the card just as a test. And I added a couple menu options. So it's all done through an automation. So the first thing you do, this you go into your, your HubSpot app settings and I define the card. So this is the URL to the automation back over here. So if you go into this trigger, this value here, this web service URL goes over here into this URL. And then what I, when HubSpot calls that URL, I tell it what to send. So you go in here and you pick out certain things and you just choose properties to include in the URL. So I did these three, first name, email, last name. And then what you do in your automation, you just add them here as query parameters. And then you configure that thing. And now I've got to move my windows here. All right. And then, so that gets the data into the automation. And then for the things that are appearing, like this first name, last name, email, that is coming over here on these properties you defined. So that's the label, first name, last name, email, and these are the property names. So the automation is going to send data back using these values here. Whoops. Go away. So then the automation, this action. So these properties, first name, last name, email, come from these settings. Bam, bam, bam. So right now I'm just echoing them back. All right. And the card title, I set to this. And that's what you see here as the title of the card. And then the menu options I added, I created an action. So these get appended in order. And what you're doing is you're feeding in. What it's doing is it's building up a JSON response back to HubSpot. So this action, the first action, it's just passing through the JSON and just appending to that. So as the first parameter, you just set the response from the previous action and you're adding the menu label, which is a, <clears throat> I did a URL to the APN getting started form and you can choose the size of the iframe. So I did that for two menus. <laughs> and then all you do is you just send back that response. So that's, that's how easy it is. So these options, Promoting. And it took me a little while <clears throat> to get the UI code compatible with the side frame, but it wasn't too bad.